6.8a, Potential and Kinetic Energy. In this three-part activity, students actively compare and contrast potential and kinetic energy through a card sort, picture interpretation, and a spool racer activity. For this activity, each student will need one pair of scissors and a glue stick. Each group will need one large empty thread spool, one metal washer, one meter stick, one stopwatch or timing device, one calculator, and an unsharpened pencil. They will also need one medium rubber band, a toothpick, a 5 centimeter strip of masking tape, and a 15 centimeter strip of masking tape. Print one teacher printout potential and kinetic energy pairs for each student in the class. Print one teacher printout characteristics of potential and kinetic energy for each student in the class. Also print one student guide and one student journal for each student. Part 1. Forms of Energy Students will read the student guide as a class and study the diagram in Part 1. They will then discuss with a partner why the examples in the diagram represent potential or kinetic energy. Distribute the teacher printout potential and kinetic energy pairs to each student in the class. Students will cut the set of cards apart and paste them into the chart titled 1. Potential and Kinetic Energy Pairs Within a System. Students will then answer the questions in Part 1 of the student journal. Part 2. Spool Racers. Students will begin this activity with a practice trial. Holding one end of the rubber band, students will use the toothpick to push the rubber band through the hole in the spool. Students will thread the toothpick through the loop of the rubber band hanging from the end of the spool. The toothpick should lay flat against the end of the spool because it is looped by the rubber band and held in place. Students will break off the ends of the toothpick so that they do not hang over the edge of the spool. They will cover the toothpick with a small piece of tape so that it will stay in place. The other end of the rubber band comes through the hole on the opposite end of the spool. Students will thread the rubber band through the center hole of a metal washer so that the washer rests flat against the end of the spool. Students will put the pencil through the loop of the rubber band. They should make a knot in the rubber band if it is too long. Have students put the 15 centimeter piece of masking tape on a flat surface to serve as the starting line. Students will add energy to the spool racer by winding the pencil six times and set the racer on a flat surface at the starting line. They will then release the pencil and their racer should take off. That ends the practice trial. Students will now collect and record data on the spool racer data chart in their student journal. Students will divide jobs between group members as follows. Timer, measurer, recorder, and racer. The racer places the spool at the starting mark and says, one, two, three, go, and releases the spool racer. The timer starts the stopwatch on go and stops when the spool racer stops moving. The measurer measures the distance between the starting line and the place where the spool racer stopped moving. The recorder writes the data in the student journal so that all group members can exchange results at the end of the activity. Students will wind the racer six times, release the racer, and collect the data. They will repeat this for two more trials. Students should take care to untwist the rubber band before winding for each new trial. Students should switch jobs, then wind the racer eight times, release the racer, and collect the data. They will repeat this for two more trials. They should repeat this process, winding the racer 10 times and then 12 times. Once finished, students will exchange data within their group, average the results, and answer the questions in the student journal. Part 3. Compare and contrast potential and kinetic energy. Distribute the teacher printout characteristics of potential and kinetic energy to each student in the class. Students will cut apart the set of cards read them and determine how they show a comparison and should be paired with another card. They will then paste each related pair under the correct column for potential and kinetic energy in the chart titled 1, Characteristics of Potential and Kinetic Energy in Part 3 of their student journal. Students will use the completed chart to answer questions in Part 3 of the student journal. Have students clean their area by placing all paper scraps in the paper recycling bin. Wrap up this activity by completing the reflections and conclusions in the student journal.